Hi, it's me again. Today we're going to show you how to measure when your head is bald. This is my sweet friend and client Lorraine and she has alopecia and she's agreed to do this video with us to give you the courage out there to accept your hair loss and get up, suit up, show up and move on. Today we're going to show you with a bald head and again you need a tape measure. This is the one from my sewing kit, just a little old tape measure. Find the number one, put your hand on that and we're going to do three measurements. The first one is her circumference, that's what's around her head. So you stretch out the tape, put it in the back, put it on top of your ears where the wig never covers your ears and then you kind of rotate it around and you hit it to your hairline. Now the hairline can vary. You're probably sitting there going, duh. Here's the secret. If you've lost your hairline and you don't know where it is, it's four fingers, one, two, three, four, from your brow bone. So that's where you're going to start your measurements. You go around in the back, slip it through, the tape on the top, find your metal piece, and there. And that, pinch it, and that's how you find your measurement for circumference. Now we're going to do the top of the head from ear to ear. And these three measurements will help us in customizing your wig. So you get the one again with your little tip. Now here's a little secret, and you, you really must pay attention to this. Put your finger on top of, or have a friend that's going to measure you, put your finger on top of your ear. Then take your little tape measure and slip it just a little bit under the ear. The reason we do that is I don't want the wig to be on your ear top and hurting you in this area. See, your ear's always free, but I don't want it rubbing. So you have the finger there. We go across the top to the other side. Sorry, Lorraine, I'm turning you like a mummy here and you stick for 11. Pinch, and there's your measurement. One more measurement to do. And that's from your hairline again. So we go one, two, three, four. Stick the tape in. This time we're gonna go across the top of the head and back to that indentation, and that's your occipital bone. Turn precious and we can show. See right there where it goes indent, indenting, that's where I want you to pinch the tape. Reason for that, all, there's a reason for all of this. When you have your wig and it's pulled down too low, and when you first get it, you probably wanna tie it on, but if it's too low in the back, then the minute that you move your head, see how I'm moving my head? The wig doesn't go anywhere, precious, because it fits you. So that's why we need that measurement. And that's it for today. Have a great day.